Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be Feminine Women Want Men to Lead Them. I've got an email. This is from a guy. He's obviously relatively new to my work, and he says he's on the third read of my book, 3% Man. But obviously, I think some of the concepts sailed right over his head. And so he sees me doing quite well with online dating, Tinder dating, and he sends a couple of the exchanges over that he's got. And he's, what he does a lot is that he'll give out his number, and a lot of times women will contact him or text him. But he's got two emails or message exchanges that were on, the I guess, the dating apps. And the women responded back with their number. He's going, what's up with this? So it, it, he's obviously missed the point that it's a job, a man's job to lead the interaction to where he wants to go. And it's obvious from these women's replies, which you'll see, it's like what they're really wanting is they're hungering for him to be the leader. They're giving him the opportunity to step up and lead. And he's not getting it. I guess he thinks if he just gives out his number that the women will do all the work. So let's go through. Is it's really short email, and uh, it's probably be a short video newsletter. <clears throat> so he says, "Hey, coach, I'm confused. I'm so confused by this. What's the deal?" So when somebody says they're confused, it means they're about to learn something. He says, "I'm on my third read of your book. I've asked multiple women out on online dating, and I get tons of dates. I usually text a bit, then send my number and tell them to text me, and we'll grab a drink. Sometimes, however," I get the odd girl that will reply with her number. Why? I don't get it. I'm clearly missing something here. So he says, I'll I'll change the name. He says, Jessica, text me. Gives out his number. I'd love to grab a drink with you and see if we connect. And then her response is, hey, yeah, we could definitely plan something. My cell number is blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm not on this app often. And he's wondering, what's up with that? Well, she's obviously a feminine woman and she's giving you the opportunity to be the man and create a date. And as I talk about in 3% Man, your job as a man is to create an opportunity for sex to happen, to hang out, to have fun, to hook up. You're the one that physically penetrates the woman and she submits to you. And so she's offering you her phone number in hopes that you know what to do with it and you make a date. Now, I can tell what he's trying to do. He's trying to take what he learned from me about getting women to do the pursuing, which if they're healthy and normal, they will eventually all do that when they feel safe and comfortable enough. But so many women, especially the younger women, complain about the men these days. You can go on the dating apps and see it. They even put it in their profiles. They're just hungry for guys to take the leadership role because they're so passive. And you'll see them making comments on there about how they don't want to be on the dating app and send 100 messages back and forth. They want to send a few messages, you know, make sure you're not a weirdo or a psycho, and then you'll make a date so they can get together. They're on a dating app to go out on dates. And a lot of guys just don't get it. They don't know any better, and they think they just sit and text back and forth incessantly for days, weeks, and months on end, and then eventually somehow they'll end up on a date. And women are just dying for men to take the leadership role. So here, here's another one. So he gives part of the text exchange. They, they send a few messages back and forth. And then he says, I'd love to meet up and see if we connect. Text me. And then she says, this one comes right out. And she's a little more blunter than the first one he sent. He said, she says, sure, you plan a date and then text me the details. And then she gives out her number. She's really pretty. She's got a cocktail in her hand. Obviously, she's ready to have a good time. But she wants you to be the man. She wants you to be the leader. It's like, come on, man. <clears throat> it's like sometimes guys will read my book and think, oh, I don't have to do anything. I just give out my number and women will take care of everything. It's like you got to be the leader, man. It's up to you. Same thing with the seduction process. It's up to you to lead the interaction to the bedroom and make things happen. And I remember when I didn't know any better, especially when I was in my teenage, late teenage years, early 20s, I didn't get this. 
it wasn't until I was about 22, 23 that it started clicking for me because I would do this a lot. I'd, I, we, back then we gave out phone numbers or I gave out my beeper number. And then we would talk back and forth for weeks on end and I would never get around to ask, figure out, oh, I got to get to know her first. Then once she likes me, then I'll ask her out on a date. I just really had no idea what I was doing. And so this guy I'm assuming is he's, he's pretty young and he's just not used to going for the things that he wants. So you got to be a leader. So yeah, it's great on the dating app, give out your number first. It, you know, it makes, it breaks the ice. It makes it easy. But if, if a woman gives you her number back, then she wants you to be the leader. If she texts you, if you give out your number and then she texts you, you still have to make the date. You still got to be direct, decisive, and get right to the point. Don't dither, don't hesitate, or you will masturbate. So if you got a question or a challenge and you'd like to get my help, go to understandrelationships.com, click the products tab at the top of your screen, and book a coaching session with yours truly. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.